So before we are trying to create an Angular application, we need to register that Angular app within Okta. So let's try that. So go to your company.octopreview.com. You don't have to put all these things. Just put company name.octopreview.com. That will take you to this login page. Go ahead and click on sign in. So once you sign in, you'll see a dashboard with all your apps registered, right? This is the only app that I have currently. This is a regular user dashboard, but it's not admin dashboard. So to gain access to admin dashboard, there is admin button on top, right? Just go ahead and click on admin button. That will take you to admin dashboard. You can just go to applications, click on applications once again, click on add application and go ahead and click on new app. As we are trying to create an Angular application, this will be a single page application which will filter all the other things out of sign on method. Let it be open ID connect and go ahead and click on create. Application name, I'm just trying to create a sample app. So I'm putting this test app here. I don't want any logo and usually login redirect URLs would be implicit callback URLs. So we can just put um, HTTP localhost as we are using uh, 4200 as a port and put implicit um, callback as a login redirect URL. Just in case you can also add HTTPS of same URL. And logout URLs, you can just put it as HTTP regular localhost 4200, that's it. And click on save. Once you're done with the registration, you can just see all the configuration of a test app right here. Under the applications, go ahead and click on applications once again. And you can just click on this application test app. And a general tab, you'll see all the configuration available. So this is using allowed grant types as authorization code as implicit flows as well. And this is the login redirect URLs and logout redirect URLs we just entered. So this will have a client ID right when the app is registered or right when the app is created. And do not forget to assign yourself to this app, right? Assign to people as this is the only um, way that you can log into the Angular app. So this is me. I'm trying to assign myself to this app. Just go ahead and click on all your uh, appropriate properties. Click on save and go back. Click on done. So that's how you assign a user to this app. So if you want anybody to use this app, you have to assign a user to um, this application like that. Go to this assignments tab, click on assign. You can also create a group and add people to that group. And you can also say in case of like real enterprise edition, you will have this option like everyone, all users in your organization. So whoever is available in the organization, they can access it, but they have to log in and log out. You can just click on assign to make this available and click on uh, done. So that's it. We just registered an app with um, a basic configuration and we also have to care about authorization server. So let's go to security section, click on API. That will give you all the authorization servers available. I just created my own authorization server for banking app. We can also create authorization server by ourselves for test app as well. But for now, I'm going to use default authorization server as a uh, issuer why because we need a new authorization server only in case of customized rules if we want to customize any rules in that case we'll add this authorization server um, according to our rules but i'm going to use this default one for now